Welcome to Goreme. <laughs> from Cappadocia. So Cappadocia is a region in Turkey. I'm staying in Goreme, which is a, a part of Cappadocia as well, a Goreme National Park. And so Cappadocia, it's famous for their fairy chimneys, which are these old volcanic um, natural geolo geological um, wonders. <laughs> and they uh, are just like, well, you'll see them <laughs> as I'm walking along here. But uh, the population here, like a thousand years ago, were, were living in these, in these uh, fairy chimneys, in these old volcanic uh, structures. And so now they've been made many of them into hotels and cave hotels that people stay in. But uh, thousands of years ago, people were living in these structures. But yeah, I'm just going to be walking through the town here and exploring uh, Goreme a bit more today and then showing you guys these fairy chimneys which are just beautiful. So yeah, let's walk along and see this beautiful region of Turkey. So a lot of these look like these fancy little cave uh, hotels that they've made. Gorem is a very touristic little town with a lot of little boutique shops selling handmade bags and clothing, leather items. Um, it's a very beautiful town though, very calm, breezy, beautiful landscape. And um, if you're looking to do sightseeing, a lot of these um, tourist sites are kind of far away from each other, so they offer a lot of tours. Uh, green tour, blue tour. I haven't actually taken any of them because in the city center, Goreme is very small. You can take buses to most of these places. For example, um, Derinkyu, I went there and the bus was... took two buses and they were maybe like one dollar, two dollars, three dollars max each to ride them so if you are looking to do this on your own you can do that you can rent ATVs and go riding around in this area or you can rent scooters or you can take a tour um, I know the blue tour offered a few items and was like 40 euros but you know I'm not in a rush I have time to explore on my own and get there on my own so that's what I've been doing so far but uh, yeah You need to buy tickets. To go up here? Yes. Oh, how five, much is the ticket? Five. Five lira. Five lira. Yes. No problem. <laughs> so what, it, what is this ticket for? Did you? 
Oh yeah, video on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> if that's okay. Okay, no problem. What is uh what is this? Is this for like the viewpoint? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Economic point. Viewpoint, okay, I have twenty. How many? What's your name? Uh, Jisal. Jisal. Oh. My name is Gyokhan. Gyokhan? Gyokhan, yes. Gyokhan, cool nice. name. Yeah, I love these Turkish you, names. You, Sometimes you I too, struggle to say them, but... <laughs> yeah, original Turkish name. Yeah, for thank sure. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank see you so later. much. Nice to meet you. Teşekkürler. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so... Five lira for this viewpoint up here. It's fine. It's like a... That's not a lot of money. I didn't know you had to pay for a viewpoint, but whatever, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> so five Turkish lira is 30 cents, 30 American US dollars, 30 cents. So not bad. the uh, Uchisar castle and I went there the other day. You can even walk from Goreme but I took a bus and it was like five or ten lira, not expensive at all. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of these towns are quite touristic. Cappadocia is very popular. Also for hot air balloon rides. Um, I think that's what it's most famous for. Um, you have all these photos of hot air balloon rides in the morning. And it's been uh, bad weather these last few days. So it flew yesterday, but it didn't fly today, and it didn't fly for like two days before that. But I will be taking a hot air balloon ride soon <laughs> when the weather is good. And yeah, not the cheapest things on the planet, but uh, you know, uh, who knows if I'll ever come back to Cappadocia and uh, willing to pay for it. So. Camels up here. Reminds me of Egypt. <laughs> Do they bite? Their mouths are muzzled. That's <laughs> bliss. Come on. Come on, sweet photo. I, I live in Egypt. I see so many camels. <laughs> <laughs> this moment good, just see it photo. Too many camels. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Bye. Where are you from? Uh, US. Hi. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just filming for YouTube. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So these uh, guys that want you to take photos or rides with the camel, I'm assuming they're similar to Egypt in the way that they will want money for your photo or a ride regardless. Uh, however, they're way less aggressive than the, the vendors in Egypt that are uh, coaxing you incessantly. Hello. Ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, way less aggressive than uh, the guys in, in Cairo as far as getting rides go. So 
it's a little bit overcast today, but uh, still a nice breezy day and uh, still brilliant views. Um, different seasons will give you different views, different weather conditions. You know, when the blue skies are very, very blue, it's amazing. And uh, I've seen photos with this place during the winter with snow covering it and also very amazing. Um, but I am from a place with long winters, so I did not want to visit Turkey during the winter. <laughs> is laying. And there's paths all over these fairy chimneys that I'm going to be exploring in, so follow along while we get a closer view of these amazing structures. So here we are on top of the viewpoint before heading down and uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous Cappadocia and Goreme in particular where I am now. Yeah, welcome to Goreme, <laughs> the fairy chimneys, a beautiful region in Turkey, Cappadocia and Goreme, a small town within that region. Just climbed down to the lower part where uh, we can actually walk into this fairy chimney. Looks like somebody's uh, drawing some garlic out. I started going in there and then I saw a lot of things on the ceiling. Not sure what they are. I'm gonna go in there and check it out again. Let's go! Are they butter? Moths? Oh, there's moths. And a door. But... I don't need to go in there. This is very, like, um... built up. I want to find, like, an abandoned... you know, less... walked-in... fairy chimney. I mean, wow. This looks like it leads down to... A in a restaurant, you know? <laughs> What's up here? Part of the restaurant, maybe? There's a lot of flies out here, if you can hear that. I think this might be some kind of cave hotel I'm walking up to right now where somebody stays hmm. 
kind of fruit is that? Anybody know? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if this is like someone's property or, or what. But I think I'm going to actually take this side down. It looks a little bit easier. scares me more than fucking dogs. Fuck, where am I? God, I hate dogs. At least dogs not on leashes. Jesus. Like, I don't want to lose a leg. <laughs> fuck. Is there any more dogs around here? Oh, fuck. Where am I? Is this... I really hated that. Reminded me of the dog in uh, <laughs> City of the Dead. <sighs> I don't know where to go to avoid that dog. I think I'm on somebody's property. It looks like horses stay here. defending their property, I know, but balk me. He's getting really close. <sighs> yeah, now what? How do I avoid him but get out of here? <laughs> I'm gonna go back down here again because he seemed to stop at the gate. Maybe that's his problem. I was inside his property. Just let me through, please. Far away. Over here, maybe. Sneak by. I'm so paranoid right now. the path that you will walk through here. I bet you some of those tourists at the top of the hill saw that go down laughing. <laughs> I would be too if I was them and not me in that situation. Is like something else. Pony. Hey. Okay. 
cute. It must be super newborn. It's tiny. Not that dog again. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Why do they keep following me? God, fucking dog. This is why I've not liked dogs, like, historically. Like, I, I mean, I do, but I've always loved cats more. And dogs are intimidating. They come running out barking at you. Like, I don't want to lose a leg. Get bit. You know? Where am I allowed? Well, great. Here's a Turkish woman chilling. So, if I get attacked by a dog, hopefully she'll be around to yell something Turkish at it. <laughs> I don't really know where I should go.